we are on Frozen Temple. Already one SCV out on the map. Looks like it might be a Reaper opening here. Yep. And of course, this is Marine Lord down in the bottom right, the Purple Terran. The Far and Hope for Group C. And his opponent to the top left, of course, is Trap. So sometimes when uh, you know, you're the foreign player against the crane, you've got to be the cheeser. And uh, we're going to see this uh, Reaper opening here. Looks like with just one barracks, was a gas first. And, uh, and he could make a second barracks at home and do like a super all-in. Let's just wait and see again Ooh. what variation this is going to be. Extra gas here very early on. Yeah, that means definitely going to be seeing more than just Reapers. You know, you know what this could be is just Reaper pressure into the, the follow-up Fast Factory, and maybe we see that uh, yeah, the Cyclone build with the Liberators. That's what I'm thinking here. I mean, it is Frozen Temple after all. If you're going to do that build, this is the map. Yeah. And I was expecting that uh, if this map made it into the pool, Marine Lord would have some Cyclone-based play planned out. He'd have that in mind. Um, this play is still you know, popular in other regions, although it's kind of fallen out of popularity in Korea. And uh, we'll see how he executes this. Now, Trap could scout this, okay? Remember, Trap is one of the best players in the world at defending attacks, timings, drops. Uh, and even though everyone is telling me he's not in form, his form in the first game was excellent, right? He already scouts this with a probe, so he knows that this is a proxy. Like, yeah, there's, and there's, like, there's no secret. Too. He knows everything right now. So this is one of the weaknesses of proxying your Reaper too, is that you can't deny the scout. Yeah, and Trap is a Protoss that will scout. You know, Marine Lord did his research, which I'm sure he did. He knows that he's a scouter, but still going to go for this build. Oop, that probe gets knocked in a good angle here for Marine Lord. Nice. Well, pick it off, and because he uh, doesn't have any units out yet, and this is a quick uh, location here, he's going to start to get some probe kills, gets two. And we'll get a third, I think. One more hit. Oh, just barely not going to be able to get that. He oh, does escape. That's really huge. That's going to help. Oh, 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 sniped. All right, he's just going to rally units over here. The problem with a build like this, though, is you could just get, like, he's just going to send his mothership over here. Did I is also um, one adept could just run and wreck his entire mineral line by itself. He has nothing at home to defend. He's not going to even have a starport. Adept comes over here. He's going to remake the pylon actually in a better position. And when these two Marines come out, they cannot fight against I, even I, just one Adept I, or the uh, a Mothership core. I think this might just be game, right? I mean, what is he's going to have the Cyclone here soon. He's going to have to have some sick Cyclone micro. Yeah, he's going to have to target perfectly. Oh, these Marines get taken out here as well. Um, even though Lord of Marines can't stop this counterattack here. Tech Lab's going to go down. All he has to do uh, is, you know, basically not lose his Mothership Core to the Cyclone. Immediate lock-on. Yep. He's he is going to be able to get the Mothership Core for sure. Yeah. It does go down, but this uh, Cyclone oh, is going to go down cyclone. shortly afterwards as well. I'm not sure if he can catch up to this. The Shades are, are going to allow him to get one hit, but he is going to lock on and push this back. Good micro here from Trap. This, these units are just kind of out there now, though. I mean, like, he, he can't get Marines out. They're going to start dying. He doesn't have anything else back at home. He has to lift his barracks here. Um... This game is certainly ending up to be, uh, I don't know, maybe the e technical esports term is pound fiesta. I don't know. Like I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to like get the, I'm trying to put the words out here, but I'm not really sure. You're trying to be, you know, you know, modern and on point yeah, with the I'm lingo. Like, what is, it, what are the new kids saying about the games that are weird these days? What are those Overwatch casters saying? Yeah. Pound fiesta. Mm. So I don't know. I mean, Marine Lord is in a, a pretty rough spot. Okay, he's on one base. His factory is in the air. His barracks is in the air. He has a starport at home. He's trying to make a liberator, but you know, Trap realistically all he has to do is dodge the liberation zones, and he can find damage here. There is a tight wall, which is really important. He can buy a lot of time with this liberator uh, until the wall is down. And look, there's a cyclone here. Trap can't kill him, but Trap is transitioning at home. He's getting blink. He's making more stalkers. Slow warp stalkers. Looks like he wants to get aggressive here with that pylon. Uh, not taking either of the gas here. He's keeping a very low uh, probe count as well. I really like that uh, he is producing another... Oh, he's producing a siege tank. I thought he was producing a cyclone back there. I was going to say cyclones can come and do a little bit of harass potentially. Um, I guess he's trying to get a siege tank up and like come back with it. To be totally honest, I'm not entirely sure what that siege tank is going to accomplish, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Blink is on the way, Dark Shrine is on the way, I mean, Trap is just going to try to lock him out of this game, never allow him to take another base. He knows he has the better army, the larger army. Those tanks are just going to chill. Yeah, I, I mean, guess. I guess he's, he's going to hold on and then just use them in his army composition. Yeah. Maybe 
Once eventually he, go for the push. I mean, the, once he breaks out, he can link the armies together if trapped in the scouts. Yeah. So why would he? I mean, there's no reason to go check for that. So that's pretty. That's pretty intelligent. Risky, 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 but very oh, intelligent. Oh, there's no over here for the overcharge. Okay, this is going to be a big problem. He doesn't have any ways of dealing with this. He's going to have to work with more suckers. He does have blink, but as we've already seen, Marine Lord's positioning on these livers is absolutely perfect. Yeah. Foreign Terrans are just, like, really good with Liberators in yeah. general. So, I mean, I'm sure, you know, the Koreans are going to come in here and be very impressed. He does need to move this, though. Uh, as as we're hyping up his Liberator play, I mean, that was still go. That was still very effective. He killed several Stalkers with that and several probes, too. Um, he's finding his way back into this game. He's trying to. He's got this base up now. Let's see how well he deals with these DTs. He has no turrets. I don't even think he has an eBay, but he, oh, he just dropped mules right before, you know, this happened. This is definitely going to do a lot Never of damage. Never lucky, man. <laughs> <laughs> Never lucky. These three tanks are sitting up there, not doing much. Oh, oh. he just had one scan. Oh my god. But he's not going to have another one in a second. Making I missile believe. turrets. Needs to get that up. I, I, think, I think he can hold this. Yeah, I think he Trap, it. Trap is being very passive with the second one, so. Starts a turret on top of the ramp. Should be fine, yeah. He didn't come in quickly enough. That turret's complete. And he has a scan saved, too. Totally shut down. I mean, this is really cool. Two base now. I actually really like this siege tank choice. At first, I was a little bit baffled by it, but. He knows the trap will never go and find those, and then suddenly trap thinks he has a really small army. Then he's going to push with these siege tanks and trap him. Like, oh my god, you had tanks? I had no idea. <laughs> he's going to have stim very shortly here as well. He could have a, a pretty decent push at that third base. He hasn't scouted it yet, but uh, you know it's pretty easy to assume at this point in the game. You know, we are at seven minutes in that uh, the Protoss would be taking the third base, especially with how much control trap has had of the map. Glaives coming up now. We have, uh, you know, uh, a sentry being warped in here just to kind of bolster this army a little bit str uh, stronger. And he's making a fourth siege tank. Very oh. impressed by uh, Marine Lord's tenac tenacity. You know, he's just sticking yeah. in this. He's really, really fighting uh, because the early game of this game went terribly wrong. And so, uh, you know, doing really well so far. He's trying to, like, run Trap's brain through hoops, uh, you know, or make him have to really think about what's going on here. Just a little bit of poke harassment here. He knows combat shields aren't done. Siege tank's coming back. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's so sneaky with those tanks. This is so funny. Sneaky tanks, man. Yeah. Um, new build. You proxy just the factory, and then you surprise your opponent with, with seven siege tanks. It's so weird because... Again, it's like if those get scouted, it's such a waste of investment, but they won't I, ever be, right? I mean, there's just no way. Trap makes a mistake here and loses his observer, yeah. which is pretty important, too. Even with the amount of games that Korean programmers play, I almost guarantee you that he's never seen something like this. Yeah. Five sneaky tanks in the top right. I mean, I've never seen something like this. Yeah, I've, I've never. I've a lot never. of StarCraft from a lot of different regions. Um, nice dodge there. Wastes a scan. Tank's coming down. He's about to see him with the DT. He's like, oh, okay. Oh, he doesn't even see them. That's Whoa, so the unlucky. sneakiest tanks. He's going to be like so... Stealth. Okay, now he sees them. I was about to say he's going to be so surprised. He's like, oh my god, where are those tanks from? <laughs> those sentries aren't going to be very useful for that. And obviously this map is the best map in the pool. Possibly one of the best maps we've ever had ever, period, since Lost Temple for Siege Tanks. So he needs to drop these units out. Trap is, I think, getting a little bit, uh, a little bit stressed out about this push that's coming his way. Okay, here we go. S tanks need to siege up. Need to get in position. He's got that cyclone too. Ooh, this is a big warp in, and he's already got 14, 15, 16 SCV kills and counting. He needs to be uh, really decisive right now, Marine Lord, that is, with these tanks. He needs to start putting them in position, and he does. Decent force fields here. Stalkers blink over to the right side, but there's so many siege tanks on the low ground. The Immortals are not in range. And he has Stim and Combat Shields and plus one with this. Needs to get more of these tanks in position, actually, and drop that tank here. Looks like he's still dealing with this in the main. Look at this, 29 SCVs have gone down. And Trap can easily just run away with that. All right, Trap, he needs to defend this. He's going to shade in here. Looks like he wants to commit. The barriers are down. He loses one Immortal. And he has to back off. He's not able to shade there. I mean, he's doing a ton of damage here, so if Marine Lord's push fails, uh, he wins the game because he has money and Marine Lord doesn't, but he has to defend and he's going to target down the Mothership Core. Great opportunity here for Marine Lord. He gets it. He's going to shade on top of these tanks, so Ooh. decides not to commit. I think a wise decision with those Liberators in position. But he's got no economy back at all. Yeah, home. he still cannot deal with that. All Trap has to do is hold on. And, you know, this army begins to look smaller and smaller every time I see it compared to Trap's ever-increasing army size. 
Okay, now that the Marines are out of position, he commits to the tanks. He will target them down the Liberator as well. Very important. GG, Trap takes it. 2-0 fashion, looking very strong here. Marine Lord, he put up a good fight. The Trap, at the end of it all, was the stronger player. Let's so we will be having a PvP winner's match. Let's be real. I mean, Marine Lord, in both games, massively behind a uh, uh, master of transitions. I mean, yes, it was basically he was playing both games with one hand tied behind his back, but gave Trap trouble in both games with his transitioning. Very, very impressive play from our French Terran, but Trap is the winner in this particular PBT. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the uh, TBZ and see what Marine Lord can do with Solar, our most recent uh, champion here in uh, in Korea. It is going to be a very hard match, but you know, ZV, his TBZ is quite strong, so we'll see about that. But first, guys, we are going to be jumping into a PvP between Stats and Trap in the winner's match. Before that, we are going to go into a quick commercial break, so we're going to be right back after just a couple of minutes.